She's really pretty, isn't she? Her skin looks so baby smooth. Well, it's just that she puts a lot of makeup on her face. Actually, natural beauty comes from within. Ah, I can smell jealousy in the air. She has nothing that deserves my jealousy. I don't have to put things on my face and I still look pretty. Don't you think so? Yeah, right. But what did you put on your face last night? Those little greenish things. They're cucumbers. They're natural skin soothers, natural healers of the skin. Haven't you heard them say on TV that er, they soften the skin, wipe out the roughness, counter irritation, and build strength and resilience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wipe out tight, tired feelings and remove lines and age signs. Blah, 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 blah. See, I can even recite it. That's right. You've learned a lot, haven't you? Northwind Airways, good morning. May I help you? Yes. Do you have any flights to Sydney next Tuesday afternoon? One moment, please. Yes, there's a flight at 1645 and one at 1800. That's fine. Could you tell me how much a return flight costs? I'll be staying three weeks. Economy, business class or first class ticket? Economy, please. That would be 346 euro. OK, could I make a reservation? Certainly. Which flight would you like? The 1645, please. Could I have your name, please? My name is Mary Jones. That's M-A-R-Y-J-O-N-E-S. How would you like to pay, Ms. Jones? Can I pay at the check-in desk when I pick up my ticket? Yes, but you will have to confirm this reservation at least two hours before departure time. I see. Now you have been booked, Ms. Jones. The flight leaves at 16.45 and your arrival in Sydney will be at 9.25 a.m. local time. The flight number is NWA476. Thank you. Northwind Airlines, can I help you? Hello. I'd like to reconfirm my flight, please. May I have your name and flight number, please? My name is Daniel Adams, and my flight number is 374. When are you leaving? On May 11th. And your destination? Buenos Aires. Hold the line, please. All right. Your seat is confirmed, Mr. Adams. You'll be arriving in Buenos Aires at 4 o'clock p.m. local time. Thank you. Can I pick up my ticket when I check in? Yes, but please check in at least one hour before departure time. Good evening. Where have you come from? Bucharest, Romania. May I have your passport and Form I-94, please? Here you are. What's the nature of your visit? Business or pleasure? Pleasure. I'm visiting my relatives. How long are you going to stay in the United States? Three weeks. What is your occupation? I work as an accountant for a Romanian telecommunications company. Do you have a return ticket? Yes, here it is. That's fine. Thanks. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. How do you spend your day, Helen? Well, on weekdays I get up around 10, then I read the paper for an hour and have lunch at about noon. Really? What time do you go to work? I start work at 3. And when do you get home at night? I get home pretty late, around midnight. So, what do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Don't you recognize me? I do the weather report on KMTV. Gee, I'm sorry. I don't watch TV. Are you ready to order, sir? Yes, I'll have the beef stew for starters and my wife would like tomato soup. One beef stew and one tomato soup. What would you like for the main course? I'll have the cayenne pepper steak and my wife would like the fried trout with mashed potatoes. I'm afraid the trout is off. Oh dear. Uh, what else do you recommend? The sole is very good. OK, I'll have that. Do you have any coleslaw? No, I'm sorry, we don't. Just give me a small mixed salad then. The same for me. Certainly. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. May I see the wine list? Certainly. Here you are.
A bottle of Chablis 99, please. Excellent choice. Jane, you look bushed. Didn't you get a good night's sleep? <sighs> nope. John kept me awake all last night. Oh? I don't know why. John rarely snores, but last night he really started sawing some logs. And it wasn't just any snore. It was more like a herd of elephants running through the room. My grandpa used to do the same thing. Sometimes he would even wake himself up. He snored so loud. I always thought it was funny. Well, I'm certainly not laughing about John. I don't think I can take another night like that again. Have you considered buying some earplugs? You bet. In fact, I'm going to go buy some at lunch. You look so angry. What happened? Nothing. I'd rather not talk about it. Just don't ask. Come on. I think you need to let off some steam. Besides, you shouldn't keep your feelings pent up. They'll eat you alive. So, talk to me. All right. This morning I took my car to the garage to have them check the air conditioner. They only gave it a once-over, filled it with some Freon, and charged me 300 bucks. No wonder you're livid. I'd be mad too if someone ripped me off like that. Yeah, and they were rude. They said I didn't know anything about cars, which I don't. But they didn't have to be so blunt. Sounds like you got a raw deal. Maybe you should file a complaint with the Consumer Protection Agency. Oh, what happened to your face, John? It looks like a heat rash. It's a razor burn. I cut myself when I shaved this morning. The burns and cuts are really irritating. I know how you feel. Maybe you shouldn't have grown a long, long beard. Well, I thought it would be fun and would make me look mature and sophisticated. Yeah, my mature man. Come on, any advice? Maybe you could shave in the shower. The steam really helps soften your beard and mustache. Mmm, sounds like a good idea. And you should avoid pressing too hard or tugging on your skin while shaving. I guess I've been stretching it too often when I shave. Hmm. I would also suggest you try this cream I have. Use it on the affected area. It really helps moisturize your skin and lessen irritations. Oh, I feel awful. You don't look so good either. What's wrong? My head's stuffed up, and I've got a runny nose, and I'm aching all over. Poor guy. What are you taking? Nothing so far. Do you have anything I can take? Let me go look. In the meantime, drink lots of orange juice. Uh, okay. But hurry back. I'm back, Sam. How are you doing? I still feel like death's warmed over. Well, I brought you a few things. Great. Bring them on. Here's some cough syrup, and I brought some cold and flu medicine. It'll help you sleep. Thanks. I really appreciate it. How are things going with you and your roommate? Not very well. We're supposed to share the groceries, but I end up feeding him three meals a day. My grocery bill is huge, you know? I really can't afford it any longer. I know how you feel. I used to have a roommate like that. He never offered to reimburse me for anything. I'm really fed up with his freeloading, but I just don't know how to tell him that he should come up with half the grocery bill, because sometimes he treats me to a meal in a restaurant. Well, honesty is the best policy. Maybe you just want to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, friend to friend talk with him. If he refuses to mend his ways, then ask him to move out. You can't let him wear out his welcome. Are you enjoying your trip to New Orleans? Oh, yes. I really like it here. Would you like to do something tonight? Sure, I'd love to. Let's see. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yes. I've already been to several clubs here. Okay. What about an evening riverboat tour? 
Uh, actually, I've gone twice this week. So what do you want to do? Well, I haven't been to the theater in a long time. Oh, okay. I hear there's a terrific show at the Sanger Theater. Great. Let's make a reservation. I haven't told you what happened yet, have I? You haven't told me anything yet. I got a promotion at my job. Are you serious? It's the truth. I am really happy. Well, congratulations. I appreciate that. I am really excited for you. Really? I believe you were the best choice for that promotion. I really do. You really deserve this. Good for you. Out of every movie that you've seen, which one is your favorite? I have to say my favorite movie is Superbad. Oh, why is that? Honestly, it is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. You're right. I found that movie absolutely hilarious. You've seen it before? I made sure to be in line to see it the first day it came out. I was laughing through the whole movie. I was laughing hysterically the whole time. My stomach muscles hurt afterwards. Mine too. I have it on DVD at my house if you want to come over. I would love to. I would like to take a trip to the beach this weekend. That sounds like fun. What's the weather going to be like? The forecast says that it will be warm on the weekend. So do you think it'll be perfect weather for the beach? I think it will be. Good. I hope it doesn't cool off this weekend. I want this trip to be perfect. I hope it stays warm. This California weather is so uncertain, it's impossible to know what'll happen. That is true. The weather is constantly changing. It would be nice if the weather would never change. That would make it easier for us to make plans. I know. Things are easier when you know what the weather's going to be like. Why didn't you go to school yesterday? I wasn't feeling really well. How were you sick? My stomach was bothering me. Do you feel better now? I'm still feeling under the weather. I'm going to the store. Would you like any Pepto-Bismol? No, thanks. I already took some medicine. Get better. I'd appreciate that. My toes feel very itchy. It's really irritating. I don't know what's happening. Let me take a look. Uh-huh. I think you have athlete's foot. What are you talking about? I'm not an athlete. Come on, John. Stop joking. You'd better take care of it before it gets worse. Imagine, you have pus gushing out and rashes all over your legs. Stop it, Dr. Jenny. Okay, okay. I guess I've got some cream for it. It really fixes skin in trouble. It's really a help for irritations and blemishes. Is it this one? Not really. That one is for heat burns. Have you had athlete's foot before? Yeah, it was a very bad experience. You know, if you don't keep your feet dry and clean, the fungus will grow and spread out quickly. So my case isn't that bad, huh? You're lucky. Yeah, here it is. Now apply it to the affected areas. This cream is very effective in clearing out bacteria and stopping inflammation from developing. Mac, you know what? Connie's going to get a facelift. Oh? She even said she'd get the rest done, too. The rest? Yeah. Mac, if my breasts were saggy, would you still love me? What? Answer my question, please. What a silly question. Love has nothing to do with breasts being large or small, or being firm or saggy. I'm just asking. You don't have to be impatient. And Connie, she's crazy. No one can sustain youth forever. Yeah, that's what I told her. Oh, I think I'm getting old. The forehead is wrinkled, the eyes are puffy, the sacs under the eyes are dark, and the skin is no longer as resilient as it was. Why, age is set in. Maybe I also need a lift. Maybe I need a new life. Oh, I really miss the good old days. At that time, my skin really felt so baby smooth. Liz! What are you murmuring about? It's getting late. 
You should have been in bed minutes ago. Good morning. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to check out now. My name's Adams, room 312. Here's the key. One moment, please, sir. Here's your bill. Would you like to check and see if the amount is correct? What's the 14 pounds for? That's for the phone calls you made from your room. Can I pay with traveler's checks? Certainly. May I have your passport, please? Here you are. Could you sign each check here for me? Sure. Here are your receipt and your change, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. May I help you, sir? Yes, please. I'm looking for a cotton polo shirt. Any particular color? Not really. How about this one? I like the design, but don't particularly care for the color. Do you have that in other colors, too? Well, they come in white, pale yellow, aqua, red, and green. Will a white one do? Yes, I prefer white. And may I see a pale yellow one, too? Why, of course. Well, let's see. White and a pale yellow. Here you are, sir. Hi, how are you feeling? Horrible. I got a cold five days ago and now it seems it's getting worse. The cough has gotten deeper and I feel like I've been run over by a freight train. Well, let me take a listen to your chest. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hear anything interesting down there? It sounds like you have some congestion in your lungs. Have you been coughing stuff up? A little, but not too much. Well, we need to get that junk loosened up. Here is a prescription. What's it for? It'll help loosen your chest up and calm your cough. I want you to take it every four hours for a week, okay? Fine. And don't forget to drink lots of fluids. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Good morning. Please have a seat here. What's the problem? I have a terrible stomach ache. Do you have diarrhea? Yes, I do. Do you have any other symptoms? Yes, I feel sick. You mean you feel nauseous? That's right. I feel like vomiting. And right now I feel dizzy, too. When did the symptoms start? This morning. Yesterday evening I ate something raw. All right. Please take off your clothes to the waist and lie down there. Just tell me if it hurts when I do this. It doesn't hurt. Ouch! It hurts there. Okay. Let's hope it's just indigestion, but we'll need to run some diagnostic tests to be sure. We'll run a blood test and we'll also need a urine sample. Can you give me something for the time being? Yes, I'll give you a prescription for indigestion tablets. It doesn't look very nice outside today. I know. I think it may rain. It wouldn't rain in the middle of the summer. That would be weird. Yeah, especially since it's 90 degrees outside. Exactly. It wouldn't be nice if it started raining. It's too hot. I know. You're absolutely right. I really wish it wasn't so hot every day. Me too. I can't wait until winter. Winter is great. I wish it didn't get so cold sometimes, though. I'd rather be cold than hot summer. I feel the same way. Did you hear that? The drought conditions are severe. There's a lot of death, dying, and suffering out there. I heard that, but it's not surprising actually because we haven't had as much rain as normal this year. Well, if it could rain even a drop, things would be much better, and my flowers in the garden would come back in a heartbeat. I guess you might have to quit watering your garden. I heard that they're going to start rationing water. In fact, this morning I happened to hear on the radio that the reservoir has dipped below half its capacity this month, and the volume of water entering the reservoir is the smallest in 50 years. Really? I thought that might happen. Great! There go my vegetables! I guess so, but think about Africa. I'm really concerned about Jason. His snoring is getting worse and worse. Maybe he needs to go see a doctor. 
I heard that sometimes a bad snore can cause heart failure because not enough oxygen gets to the brain. That's what I'm worried about. Sometimes it even seems like he stops breathing and I have to give him a push to make him start again. I remember one of my friend's fathers had the same problem. The doctor said it was sleep apnea. Her dad had to get a pacemaker put in so that his heart wouldn't stop in the middle of the night. You're kidding me. That serious? Yes, that serious. That's it. I'm making an appointment for Jason to see the doctor this afternoon. We can't let this go on any longer. Good afternoon, San Felice Hotel. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to book a room, please. Certainly. When for, madam? March the 23rd. How long will you be staying? Three nights. What kind of room would you like, madam? Uh, double with bath. I'd appreciate it if you could give me a room with a view over the lake. Certainly, madam. I'll just check what we have available. Yes, we have a room on the fourth floor with a really splendid view. Fine. How much is the charge per night? Would you like breakfast? No, thanks. It's 84 euro per night, excluding VAT. That's fine. Who's the booking for, please, madam? Mr. and Mrs. Ryefield. That's R-Y-E-F-I-E-L-D. OK, let me make sure I got that. Mr. and Mrs. Ryefield, double with Bath for March the 23rd, 24th and 25th. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Thank you. Let me give you your confirmation number. It's 75-76-385. I'll repeat that. 75-76-385. Thank you for choosing San Felice Hotel and have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Pacific Bell, may I help you? I'd like to have my phone disconnected. May I ask why? Well, I'm graduated and I'm moving to California for a new job there. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. May I have your phone number, please? Sure. My phone number is 377-765-8769. And the name on the account, please? My name is Jeffrey Scheifer. For security purposes, Mr. Scheifer, may I have your date of birth, please? It's June 5th, 1978. Thank you. Now, when would you like it to be disconnected? Tomorrow by 5 p.m. Sure. The telephone will be disconnected at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Hi, Jack. How have you been? Not very well. Why? Looks like you're feeling very down. What happened? Nothing. Come on. For a man who's feeling so down, there are usually two reasons. Either his career is going downhill, or he has a broken heart. Since you're so successful, it must be the other. Well, you're right. I just broke up with Jane. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you two were made for each other. Well, you never know. I'm ready for a commitment and want to settle down, but she says she wants to pursue her career while she's still young. Well, you can't blame her. It's always difficult to choose between career and family. Maybe you're right. Jack, I don't know what to say to comfort you, but cheer up. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and you'll find your soulmate, your perfect match. Yeah, but it's hard to forget her at the moment. You know, we were together for almost five years. It's really hard. Todd, how have you been? Things are going well. How are you, Mary? Things are good with me also. Mary, I was thinking that I might go to the movies this weekend. Do you go to the movies very often? Yes, I really enjoy the movie. I was wondering if you would like to go with me this Friday to see a movie and get a bite to eat afterwards. I think I would enjoy seeing a movie with you on Friday. Is there any movie in particular that you might be interested in? I've heard a lot of things about the movie Australia. That movie sounded interesting to me, too. If I picked you up at 7, would that be too early? 7 o'clock would be great. Okay, I'll pick you up at 7, then. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Shea Attitude. Our reservation is under the name of Foster at 7 o'clock for four people. 
Welcome, Mr. Foster. If you would have a seat in the lounge area, our hostess will be ready to seat you in just a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course. I will tell her. Those patio tables are new, aren't they? Would it be possible to be seated out there? I could seat you right away at an outside table if you would like. <laughs> sure, that would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu. And would you like to order your drinks now? Yes. Can we please bring us a pitcher of margaritas and four glasses while we are figuring out our dinner order? I'll put your drink order in and be right back to get your dinner order. We appreciate your help. Jane, I'm very upset about something. Can I talk with you? I'd like your opinion. What is it about? Oh, is it about Ed? Yeah, sort of. So what's up? What do you think of Ed, Jane? What do I think of him? You know him better than I do, don't you? Please don't tease me. Just tell me. Well, remember the other day when you said that Ed is a man who really shows you nothing but consideration? Uh-huh. And remember, you said that he really makes you happy? Yeah... It is indeed a gentleman. He has wonderful manners and is respectful of me. But I'm really bothered by his past. His past? Was he an ex-con or something? No, no, no. That's not what I mean. He used to have a girlfriend and he loved her very much. He almost married her if it weren't for that accident. Oh, I see. But why are you so bothered? That's already history, isn't it? I know, but I just can't get it off my mind. Come on, Mary. You're just being a little jealous, but that's fine. You know, when you love him, you've got to love his past, his everything. You've got to love him as a whole. Hi, Mike. We're having a party tonight. Want to come join us? You can bring your girlfriend. Well... I'm breaking up with Kathy. What happened? Did you have a fight? No. She's really a very nice girl. Yeah, she is. She's pretty, caring, and easygoing. And she's a great cook. She's a gem. Well, you're right. But sometimes she's too caring. Well, no. She's just possessive. And, uh, I kind of want to break, you know, for some room for myself. Oh, did you talk with her about it? I've tried, but it didn't work. Oh, so when are you going to tell her? Maybe tonight. I don't know. I don't know how to tell her. I know she's head over heels in love with you. She'll be badly hurt. I know, 